good morning uh, just let us recall what we were discussing in the previous session we were discussing about solenoid and we were about to find out the magnetic field due to this solenoid so we have to apply ampere circuit law we know that a solenoid is a long wire which is bound in the form of a helix and when an electric current is passed through the solenoid it behaves like an electromagnet it behaves as a magnet which is called as electromagnet because it becomes a magnet only when a current is passed through it now we have taken a section of the solenoid and we try to find out the magnetic field the neighboring coil magnetic field will cancel each other as shown in this figure let also we studied in detail you can refer our previous class for that and then we said the magnetic field inside the solenoid is almost uniform and exterior to the solenoid becomes weaker and weaker as you go away from the solenoid now we took b as the magnetic field inside the solenoid and we assumed the field outside the solenoid as zero so first we found out what is the line integral of the magnetic field over the closed loop a b c d now a b b c c d d a so you divided the whole loop into four sections along a b you got it as b into d l cos 0 because b and d all are in the same direction the angle between b and d l is 0 whereas along b c that is when you go like this b to c you got it as angle between b and d l as 90 so cos 90 is 0 also cd lies outside the solenoid and the magnetic field is zero and d to a again it is cos 90 and you got it as zero so finally we got line integral of p into dl as bh now we will apply ampere's law ampere circuit law so by ampere circuit law Ampere's law line integral of B dot DL is equal to mu naught times the total current threading the loop. Total current threading the loop. So I can write it as mu naught into current enclosed ie where ie is the current enclosed in the solenoid loop ok so we will assume few things let n is the number of turns per unit length of the solenoid so let n is the number of turns per unit length of the solenoid number of turns per unit length or per length number of turns per unit length so we are considering in this in this we are considering a loop of length h so we will consider up in this loop what is the total number of turns so the length of the amperean loop l is equal to h now length of amperean loop is H. Therefore, total number of turns total number of turns in that length H will be equal to N into H. 
let i be the current in the solenoid let i is the current in the solenoid current in the solenoid therefore then the current enclosed will be equal to current enclosed in the loop uh, or in that amperian loop ie will be equal to the total number of turns multiplied by current nh into i therefore applying amperian's circuit law so from or using amperian's circuit law we can write we got it as p into h will be equal to mu not times ie what is ie n h into i or here h sorry h and h will get cancel you can cancel h and h therefore you get b is mu not n i this is the magnetic field inside the solenoid b is mu not into n into i the magnetic field inside the solenoid is given by mu is mu not n i remember n is the number of turns per unit length i is the solenoid current and the direction of the field is given by right hand rule so remember the solenoid is used to obtain a uniform field which is given by the value is given by this equation therefore magnetic field inside the straight current carrying solenoid is given by mu not n i magnetic field magnetic field inside a solenoid b is equal to mu not n into i so here b is the magnetic field mu not is the permeability of free space n is the number of turns per unit length of the solenoid and i is the current in the solenoid use ampere amperian law to determine this and consider a rectangular loop and also the assumption made was the field outside the solenoid is zero hope you understood this derivation